Welcome to Riverside TV, sponsored by Riverside Collectibles. My name is Doug Wrench, and today we're going to be reviewing a die-cast model car in 118 scale by the from the manufacturer CMC. Now it's the Auto Union Type D from 1938-1939. It's their model number M-027. Now this model has been available for uh, quite some time. It's also been available in versions with numbers on them. This is the plain uh, silver car with no numbers on it. And it's without a doubt one of our top sellers. I think the Model C Auto Union is our top seller. And the D is definitely a very, very close second. There's so much mystique that surrounds the Auto Union uh, mark that um, you know, there's so few cars were made. And after World War II, many of them were, were hidden behind the Iron Curtain. Now they've come out and been restored. But they're absolutely priceless. And it's hard to go and see them. So by owning a model like this, you really get a good idea what the actual car was like. Because this is really, they've really nailed it with the, uh, the detail and the proportions and so forth on it. So we're going to take a look at this one um, right now. If we move in a little bit closer, we can remove the front bonnet. And when you look at a CMC model, one of, the, one of the nice, real nice things about it is you'll see um, behind the dashboard, you can see all the cables coming out, like the tachometer cable is there, um, the other instrument cables going coming out to, to monitor the engine, the steering rack is there, um, you can see frame details, radiator hoses, very, very nicely done. We move into the cockpit area, you can see... A very, very nice fabric-covered seat, which is real fabric on it. The rest of the cockpit, the steering wheel detail is nice. Um, as is everything else inside, looks absolutely like it would in a real car. The tachometer with the, with the big, big uh, dial on it, just really neat detail. Move back towards the engine. You can see that Monza-style filler neck right behind the driver's neck. That would not be uh, considered... Safe practice today's day and age. Remove the rear engine cover. And we'll take a look at this uh, 3 liter supercharged V12 engine. The, uh, the original Type C Auto Union was a 6 liter V16. For 1938, they changed the regulation to uh, 3 liter supercharged maximum. Four and a half liter normally aspirated, but this is a three liter supercharged V12, and we can see all the detail. Kind of an unusual engine. It's got two. It's got an intake uh, valve cam on each side, and an exhaust valve cam in the middle. But detail, just absolutely spectacular. As we move further back, we can see that it has a shaft coming out the back, which is for an aircraft type starter. So you can imagine. A big inertia style aircraft starter been put on the back of this thing with real high compression ratio. The supercharger, it just must have been a real adventure just manning that uh, <laughs> manning that starter when it came time to fire this thing up. You look at some of the details in the back, great big drum brakes on it. Um, one thing that's always I always like to show on the CMC cars, again, is the wheel and tire details, the tire mold details. Fantastic, all the lettering on the side of the car, the tread is good. Uh, the wheels are spun aluminum rims, hubs, stainless steel spokes, the knockoff nuts are, you know, right and left hand thread. So if you're ever going to buy a car and take the wheels off yourself to take a look at the details, remember they're right and left hand, just like a real car would be. As we move up front, look at the suspension, it's a little difficult to see. Um, you can definitely see... The uh, design of Ferdinand Porsche, where it's got torsion bar style suspension, very similar to a Volkswagen or a Porsche. So, as you can see, his his design ideas look up underneath the front nose cone. You can see the radiator and so forth. So, we're going to pan back. So, a very nice model. Like I said, even though it's been around for a while, it's, it's still one of, one of our best sellers. It is available still. It's model M dash 027 and uh just just a great model uh thanks for taking a look 
and we'll see you next time on Riverside Collectibles TV, and this is Doug Wrench.